Guys, do you know if you have a look at sort of any other off whites that are selling or like that? The 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 resale on it is just crazy, you know, it's just mad, you know, they go up to some they're just dead high. We've always been sort of on that high sort of end of the resale market and that, you know, not not no little amount, you know, you're talking quite quite a lot. <laughs> it's just mad, so let's just find out why this here the box let's have a look at why the box might say it all and why nike probably knew that these will brick so in today's video we'll be looking at the air force one mid virgil abloh so for me boxes always has to be a great experience off white so they tend to like they kind of make it a showcase so for me unboxing or anything sort of like in line with a really nice box is it's i'm all for it basically it's just that experience as, as much as you should love the shoes you should love the experience of unboxing also so i've got to give it to them for this box you know you've got this really cool sort of like brick box kind of like <laughs> it's like nike knew like they were gonna flop or something or they're gonna brick looking at your box label and your box label reads air force one mid and it's of a colorway of black clear black just peeling this off Looking at the box, and you got more crazy sort of a uh, design and colour there from from Virgil. You know the off white. He's got all his logos. It's really cool. It's on this sort of like lime green colourway back here. And then you have your standard tissue paper. I, I actually had a little peek at these before. I packed the paper in underneath, uh, but I'll show you that also. And there's that more off-white branding on the packaging i actually took it out and folded it i placed it nicely underneath the box so in hand we have the Air Force One Mid collaborated with Off-White. Right, so what I'll do in this video, I'll try to break down parts of the sneaker. We'll talk about materials. We'll talk about the actual design. Talk about these track spikes at the front, which most people don't actually appreciate. But it is what it is. Just looking at it in hand, I mean, if you used to put it on and looking at it at different angles, it doesn't actually look that bad in my opinion i was lucky enough to score a black pair i did try for the white pair as well i didn't actually get lucky for those and another thing to be honest with you i didn't actually bother trying i entered two raffles and, and to be honest i didn't think i'd get them so in this video i'll try to cover certain parts of the sneaker we'll talk about materials we'll talk about sizing we'll talk about availability and a big topic would be these track spikes i'll break it down as much as i can as i said I will take it from there i would like to say if you're new along here please make sure to like share comment and subscribe please make sure to hit that notification bell and stay up to date with any of my videos and on this channel we look at a variety of sneakers i try to make it interesting but most of them obviously being of my favorite pairs so if you feel me channel gives you that kind of vibe and it's for you please make sure to subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell and stay up to date so with all that out of the way let's crack on with the actual sneaker looking at your toe guard and your toe box we have this sort of i would say more of a on your toe guard you've got this uh mesh material and that's also on your toe box so if you just look at that there and also i do believe this is actually transparent so it's not much but your toe box is slightly transparent so probably see a little bit through there it's breathable it seems like breathable material i thought that's one thing to point out to you as well moving along to your lacing system you have that you have that classic sort of virgil it, it works with some sneakers i really like them with how they done them with the dunks personally that's me in my own opinion but yeah they've got they've, you've got this uh extra lacing system they're the round style laces so you've got these white shoelaces 
that kind of go that sort of resemble like a, a cross shape along the sneaker and underneath that you have your standard black laces both laces are actually round style laces so that's one thing there for you also looking at your tag you've got your off-white tag there and on the tag itself it's of an orange colorway and the tag reads off-white company of night really interesting that's your zip tie there so if we move on to the side panel i'll discuss both side panels they are they do actually vary and i'll just go through with you on both sides so starting off with the outer side you have the same material as you do on your toolbox and your tool guard it's of this mesh material it kind of i don't know if i'm comparing it with anything i, I don't know if you've seen the the adidas uh, 350s the Yeezys, uh the mx rocks basically in my opinion i kind of think i believe that the material all all along the upper kind of resembles that kind of material it's like uh it's this uh, kind of mesh type of material i don't know if you can hear that so yeah on your side panel you have that same mesh material and you have this divided sort of stitching along i'd say three quarters of the side panel and if you're looking at your swoosh it's of this transparent swoosh and the material itself is uh it's plastic it's really uh it's quite flimsy uh, so it's quite nice and it's got this rough sort of uh feeling to it uh that's uh stitched on each side so you've got it's you have a black stitching and it's been stitched on each side and it's black stitching and you've got it along the back of the swoosh here and it's and you've got it towards the middle here pretty interesting and if we look on the other the inside of the side panel same again you have the transparent swoosh and it's all of that same mesh material and it's got this kind of pattern in it throughout the sneaker so you've got that kind of pattern that goes through uh, like i said it kind of reminds me of the the adidas uh, the yeezys 350 mx rocks it kind of resembles that in my opinion I'll just put a picture up of them, I'll just show you what I mean. That's obviously reflective and it just it just kind of gives me them, them kind of vibes. You've got this kind of sheen of the whole of the upper. So going back to the actual side panel again, you've got that text in the middle that shows your off-white branding. And also, I did miss this tab here along here, this orange tag. You've got this orange tag. Uh, a few bits that uh, Virgil, peace be on him, that Virgil Ablu himself did. So if we move towards the upper of the actual sneaker, I did actually miss this part out. You've got this... Um, this velcro along here you've got this velcro and it's sort of strapped in this kind of buckle here where you can kind of release it so it's pretty decent in my opinion that's how it looks when it's all out i'm just gonna quickly uh buckle this up and looking at your tongue itself it's of all that same material as the upper it's that mesh material uh and they've got this uh they've got the night branding on the actual tongue itself uh, they've not backed it on any sort of canvas material that they tend to do like a tab and it's stitched in white so you've got the night branding at the top and then you've got the swoosh at the bottom looks pretty clean in my opinion moving ahead of myself a bit i did forget to mention this um, these track spikes along here which i i don't know in my opinion i'm not really for it it looks a bit strange but if you ask me if you're looking at the outer angle it looks really nice i mean i i actually appreciate it. it does look nice in my opinion i do like this if if these track sort of spikes weren't along it i think it would have you know it would have been something you could actually remove virgil bless him he uh, can be quite crazy with this stuff so yeah that's that for you so if we quickly move towards the lacing system again i just want to show you this this lace lock and this acts for just the white lacing uh and the black lacing underneath that is separate and that's attached with the white lacing which is a quite sort of a interesting little feature there it's of this sort of a translucent sort of yellow and it's uh it's got this uh and it's sort of a it's got a pink button at the top looks really nice sets in really well yeah, it's something different oh well, yeah um 
I mean, the other thing is, why, 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 rese why would resellers be staying away from this? I mean, personally, I mean, any shoe that I've actually seen, because I've uh, this is the first pair that I've kind of had that kind of that looks like this. Basically, I, I don't know the models. I did a quick glance on the internet, and I, and I found that most pairs that sort of uh, off white Virgil, basically what he did uh, shoes that kind of looked like this. They were all kind of there was just sort of like mid-range shoes so i didn't so even them ones the off-white ones that he did on them the clubs that he did on them they didn't really sell for much now i, I don't i can't think off the top of my head which shoes they were but there was there was a few that he did and they were they were more of like budget shoes that no one would really they're not that kind of hype it's just when you got his name on it it became but same again it didn't they stayed sort of around the the sort of retail range didn't go up much you know it didn't really go up it didn't go up it didn't go down and it stayed in that kind of retail range. and that's where resellers i think see this going so yeah <laughs> also um i mean just looking at your midsole as well i thought i'd mention i, I mean I, i'm not much of an air force fan i don't own many i do have the alex Burr, which is the air force one high it's a it's a collab it's just these track spikes that kind of put a lot of people off. They are kind of a bit too much. They are a bit kind of out there. But same way, that's why I think why resellers actually stayed away from this. So they see they, they don't see it going nowhere. But I see it being as a masterpiece really, because Virgil was Virgil at the end of the day. He's 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 he's, he's a one off. He's really you know set that mark. So yeah, peace be up. I'm not much of an Air Force person. I don't have many Air Force pairs. I think I've just got the Halloween ones and I've got the ones I mentioned before. Right, so if we just quickly look at the midsole, because like I said, I've, I've never had, I've, I've never actually owned many pairs of uh, Air Forces. I don't know what they're like, but you've got this air unit on the midsole, on the outer heel. There are some out there, but I don't know. I've just seen that. I thought that air, bu air bubble looks kind of neat. If we quickly look towards the heel, as you can see towards the heel, you've got this uh, heel guard along the bottom. It's of a sort of a hard rubber material, and obviously you've got the rest of you've got the rest of the accent, which is all this. I don't know, man. Mesh material flying it, and then you've got that you've got that sort of translucent sort of mesh material tab, and it kind of goes along the top. Pretty cool. So that's that. So if we quickly look at your outsole, your outsole is pretty crazy. You have you have all the track spikes all along the front quarter of the outsole. It's of this really fiery pink colorway. It matches your lace lock. But as I said, they've got all you've got all your track spikes along your front outsole. You also have some track spikes going along, I'd say the middle part of the actual outsole itself. And then on the heel, you return back to your standard rubber outsole. So yeah, there's a lot going off in the sneaker. I mean, it's it's a it's a bit out there, really. You've got to be one of them people that kind of out there. But yeah, I just see it as a I just see it being as a masterpiece, and I appreciate Virgil's design. And so yeah, there's a lot going off. I'm glad I caught this pair. To be honest, I didn't really try that hard, but it was it was something that wasn't really. Do you know what I mean? But I thought I, I was quite I, I was happy with it anyway. And I thought yeah, it's the best pair out of the two for personally for myself or how I tend to dress myself, but. You know, I do actually like the other colorway, which was the white one. So it did actually come in those two colorways. You had this black one and you had that white colorway as well. So they're both, they're both pretty nice. You know, if you are able to cut, you know, that's great. Otherwise, you know, if you're one of them people that are out there, why not? So, you know, but yeah. Right, so I'm about to wrap the video up. I appreciate you sticking around. There's a lot going off with the sneaker. I try to do it as best as I can. Personally, as I say, I see it being as a masterpiece. So with all that out of the way,